In this video, we're gonna check out some quick bites to eat around Waikiki in Hawaii next on Jaycation. First place we're gonna check out is Pauhana Place. They have an amazing deck where you can hang out, eat some shrimp from a shrimp truck, and they even have a few other dishes. And this is the first meal we're gonna have with Mom Cation and Dad Cation on this Cheap Eats Waikiki food tour. And there it is, Waikiki Pauhana Place. 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. every day, waterfront seating. Check this out, they got garlic shrimp, steak and shrimp, hot dogs, burgers, loco moco, good stuff. Blue Water Shrimp and Seafood Market, and they said Friday nights because the Hilton Hawaiian Village the fireworks go off over that way at 8 o'clock in the summer. This place is full. They bring in like hula dancers and stuff. But tonight it's nice and quiet because it's a Thursday. Get it basically all to ourselves with the boats. Yeah, it's nice. They even serve pizza and Dole Whip over in this side. Wow, I might have to get some Dole Whip. Powahana Place is only about two months old and on the weekends it does get stacked. But if you want to just have like a quiet night out, this is perfect, especially if you're staying close by like we are. All right, so this this is awesome. Great ambiance. You can see some of the boats coming in to the harbor area. I went with the steak and shrimp. I got the steak done medium rare with the shrimp. I substituted the fries instead of corn. I shouldn't have gotten rice, but I got rice and a salad. This is all for $22.95. You got steak and shrimp for $22.95? Come on now. And you get this ambiance here in Hawaii. That is definitely constitute for cheap eats in my book. Dadcation. All right, I'm gonna dig in to the shrimp here. Ooh, do I have to peel the shrimp? Oh, I do have to peel the shrimp. All right, let's get down and dirty. First meal. Mm. Wow. That is very tasty. Shrimp. And I'm starving, guys. All I had was tuna sandwich on the plane. Mmm. Yes, please. I'll get a little bit of this salad in here. Two thumbs up over in this place. Wow. Mom Cajun got the same thing, but with corn. Dad Cajun just got the uh, shrimp plate. Oh, Garlic shrimp. shrimp. Look how nice and well lit it is here. The sunset over that way, and then the moon is starting to rise. Look at that. Beautiful out here. They even have connect one, two, three, four, five, six. Connect six here. Right next to this giant wave, they do have Pauhana plates like Kalua pork nachos. Ooh, that looks good. They got pizzas. Man, I want one of those pineapple smoothies though. So in the spirit of leaving the island the way you left it, make sure you throw all your trash away. And then if you're using their plates, they do have a plate drop off over at the end by the exit. So just so you guys know, no littering and don't leave your plates on the table. So Pauhana Place just opened two months ago and it's August 17th, 2023. So there's still working on opening up more things and having more events here but it's a great ambiance nice spot shout out to mark who owns the spot very great place here to hang out at night we're right by ala moana kind of near waikiki thumbs up all right let's move on to the next place all right jk shitters so like i said i had to go back to Pauhana place because i saw that picture of the pineapple with the acai bowl in it and the thing is i originally was going to try a place across the street from it called tropical tribe but when i went there it's just like any other acai place that i've seen so i just wanted to have an acai bowl and a pineapple y'all should too because the acai bowl itself is only 10 bucks but add another five and they'll cut up a pineapple for you now it's a frozen and pineapple and the dude that made this was pretty funny <laughs> but he made it pretty nicely mm. all right got the acai in the inside banana pineapple strawberry honey and then uh, what's cool is it's in a bed of granola so the granola in the bar <laughs> mm. this is a great post workout meal for me I love getting my fruits and my granola and my wheat in. Ooh, and you got blueberries too. Mmm, that's super tasty. I'm feeling this acai bowl. Acai bowls, definitely a must try eat here in Hawaii while you're in Oahu. This is Dave's ice cream made in Hawaii. I want some of that ube life right now, please. I may be on a diet, but it's not gonna stop me from indulging in a cakey a child scoop of the ube here. They make this ice cream, handmade ice cream here in Hawaii. Oh. Ube. Oh man, I might have to come to Dave's every day while I'm here for the next week. So creamy, and that's that ube taste that you look for in ice cream. 
Wow. I had to show this again. Your next Waikiki she beat is here at this pizza window off of Royal Hawaiian and Kuhio Avenue. Now it's only open from 4 to 10 o'clock in the evening and then a little earlier during the day during lunchtime. And the slices are a little pricey but for Waikiki, let's see what all the fuss is about because there's a line here and I'm really just interested in seeing how this pizza is. So check out the prices here guys. A cheese slice is 6 bucks. It goes all the way up to about 7 bucks for your Supreme. They got a green monster, Death by Meat pepperoni, sausage, mushroom. But they also have wings, six pieces for 13, 10 pieces for 20, dipping sauce is 75 cents, drinks are like two bucks, water is $1.50. Not bad, and I hear that the slices are pretty big here, so let's see if it's like as big as the one in Las Vegas, pinna pizza. Oh, that's a pretty big slice. Oh wow, they even have appetizers, mozzarella sticks, jalapeno poppers, and fries. All right, JK Shitter, so Felix got the death. <laughs> I said that might, but no, the guy messed up. It was the pepperoni sausage mushroom, which is what he did order. Yes. And I got the green monster, which is spinach, mushroom, tomato, cheese, and garlic. Garlic. Yeah, this is my healthy alternative. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty big slices. It's almost like a Costco slice. Yeah, I'm gonna venture to say it's even bigger. Well, the crust right off the bat is really nice. I felt that crunch. It is a little floppy though. New York floppy collar? No, it's too no, thick. Too thick. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. It's, it's Costco thick. It's a big boy. Let's bounce in, bro. Cheers. One bite. I'm not gonna lie. It tastes kind of like a Costco pizza. Yeah. <laughs> It really does. Just reheat it. If Costco reheated their pizza, it probably tastes like this. It's a seven dollar Costco pizza on the Waikiki Strip. Well, just outside of it. Just outside the Strip. It works. I think we haven't had enough beers in us yet. To <laughs> yeah. Really, fully appreciate. If this we had pizza. a few more cocktails, we'd probably be like, yeah, baby. The dough is fresh though. I do taste the oregano seasoning on here. Oh, that garlic. I feel the garlic in here. There's gonna be a garlic burp tonight. Okay. I will say, decent. Have a few drinks in ya. Drunken pizza. A drunken pizza. All right, Jake, so the next place we're checking out here in Waikiki is the Steak Shack right behind me at Waikiki Shore Hotel. It is right next to this wall that separates almost Hilton Hawaiian Village with Waikiki and the water is so beautiful right now. We're gonna have some steak and salad. We're gonna pick it up for lunch and take it back to the hotel room for parentcation to try. But this place is cool. It's just like a regular shack. You pick it up, get it to go, and uh, yeah, really good steak. So their signature steak plate is $12.80, but if if you want to get up to 22 ounces, it goes up to around 20 plus dollars. I went with the 10 ounce because I'm going to share it with my parents and I got all greens with Italian dressing today and they said it's about 5 minutes but check it out. We'll take it back to the hotel but I'm going to get something else for my parents. Felix just texted me and said a good poke spot so let's do that. I got lucky. Look at this. There's a line now. But they also have a few other places. Bonan, Shave Ice and Tropical Ice Cream and then I think there's a Tropical Tribe Acai Bowl place here. Alright JK Shinner, so we went with the 18 dollar option. We got the steak done medium rare. They also give you a couple of sauces here. They give you the option of either Italian dressing or ranch dressing. I had ranch last night so I went with some Italian and uh, yeah, let's open up these sauces. Let's get loused in the sauces. So yeah they actually do have a few tables over at that steak shack. You can obviously eat it over there and there's also a little park there with some tables but we have a hotel. Why not eat it out here in the nice lanai. I'm gonna grab the steak. I'm gonna dip it in real quick. Ooh, nice. Oh yeah. Mmm. Nice char flavor to it. Dip it in the sauce here. It makes it a little sweeter. Like a teriyaki sauce. Medium rare is perfectly fine. Wow. They usually give you one rice and one salad, but I told them, can you just make it all salad? So, y'all know about me and rice. I'm not friends. Ooh. Really good Italian. All right, let's have dad cation. Have a bite. Hey guys, how are you? I'm gonna try this steak salad here. It's medium rare. Dip it on this uh, sauce. Steak is tender. Sauce is sweet a little bit. Perfect. Good steak. You try the greens. Put some Italian on it. Mmm. Perfect combination. Go with one more of this. It's perfect. Delicious. Fruit 
Nine out of ten. Steak Shack is definitely awesome, but we still gotta find a poke place. So I'm scrambling. We'll find one, and we're going to that next. We're here at Duke's, and I need to get my obligatory tank top that I get every year. We made it over to Maguro Spot here on Cahio Avenue, and it's made to order, high quality, cooked to order Hawaiian poke. And my parents are craving it. This is off of Cujillo Avenue and Ulani. So let's uh, pick up some poke and take it back to the room or eat it over here. So this is the Maguro spot poke menu and they have a ton of different ones. Number eight, they go up to eight and you go in here and you order, but they, it looks like they have all the menu bowls splattered up on the glass there. All right, we're gonna dig in to the Maguro spot poke. I think that Jason went with a ton of different types of poke. He got salmon, I know that for sure. He also got it on top of the green, so he got the salad. There's sesame here, shrimp. It actually looks really tasty. Mm. Oh wow, there's even tofu in here. Try a little bit of this. Oh yeah. Nice, some tasty Hawaiian style poke and fresh too. Mmm, Maguro spot off of Cahillo Avenue. It's diagonal to where Hula Dog is. I like it. Thumbs up. But I still want to try the Foodland poke. It's Sunday night here and I'm craving some ube. I have to have my ice cream every night. And here on Lure Street, where the Surf Jack's on, there's Lure Street pizza and ice cream. And I had it on Amanda and Felix's channel and it was really good so I had to go back there and I believe it is Dave's ice cream. So this is the Dave's Ube ice cream that I oh so love. Oh man. I'm gonna savor every Ube taste of that because it is, that's so yummy. It's, it's just like Magnolia but even better. Mm. I am on that Ube life baby, let's go. So on the first floor, the street level of Ala Moana, right next to their food court, they have a big island vintage here and there's way less of a line. You can grab everything you need here. And uh, I'm just gonna try out their island latte. Couldn't leave the island without at least getting island vintage once. I'm trying out the island latte. It was about $7.80, pretty pricey, but it's got a hint of macadamia in here. Oh yeah, that's tasty. That's definitely why Island Vintage is why you gotta try it here. But I also wanna try Kona before I leave. Kona by International Marketplace. So let's see if we could fast forward over there. But yes, definitely say Island Latte is great. I wanted the Ube Shake, but it was like 14 bucks. I don't know. That's a, a little too much and probably too much calories for me. All right, JK Shinner. So we stood in that line for about 45 minutes, but we had to try the Kona Coffee Purveyors on the last day here in Oahu. I went with their popular almond croissant. Oh wow, it's nice and soft. See how it is. Mmm, nice, soft, and nutty. A little bit of powdered sugar. This is definitely a luxury pastry from the Viennisserie. Wow. I went with their cappuccino. I got oat milk with it. Oh, that's tasty coffee. And then I got Dad Cation, a Kona coffee. Really good spot. Is it worth falling in line for? I mean, if you really want to try the pastries and your coffee, get there right at seven or just before seven. You'll be waiting about half an hour for sure. And that's at the International Marketplace. All right, Jaycationers, so that will do it for this food video around Oahu. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Consider subscribing to Jaycation. We're almost to 100K subscribers here in 2023. And I really appreciate you watching. If you haven't seen this video, an Oahu food tour from last year, check it out next. And in the words of me, stay traveling, Jaycationers. Uh...